Today we'll be learning how to mod FSR3 frame generation into PAL World on the Steam Deck so we can obtain a higher frame rate and increase performance, as opposed to the default 30 to 40 FPS settings currently available in early access. If you would like to try this mod out for yourself, the link and details for how to obtain this are listed in the description. Inside Steam, access PAL World and choose the COG symbol. Access Properties and inside our launch options we need to paste or enter the following line of code. If you do not paste this line of code into your launch options then the mod will not work so make sure that this is pasted before proceeding. Once that's complete press X on the window and from here we can press the cog symbol again choose manage and browse local files. This will open the main installation folder for PAL World and from here we need to access the folders called PAL, Binaries and Win64. Inside this folder we will be pasting three files from our latest FSR3 SDK mod release which will be FSR2, FSR3.ASI and winmm.dll and .ini. So right click, copy and paste all three into PAL World's installation directory like so. Once those files have been pasted we need to run PAL World once which we can safely do within desktop mode and once you're on the main menu simply quit out of the game and return to your Win64 PAL World folder. What we will see is that a TOML file has been generated inside our PAL World's Win64 installation folder called fsr2fsr3.config.toml. Access this file and we want to focus on just two entries, fake NVIDIA GPU we want to press Steam and X, replacing false with true. And we can do the same again by copying true. And under compatibility, we have AMD Unreal Engine DLSS workaround. Highlight false and paste true. As long as your config matches mine on screen here, we just need to make sure that we go ahead and click save. Now the FSR3 mod has been completely installed for Power World. Let's go back to gaming mode and start the game. Load Power World and access the graphic settings by pressing start, options and graphics. We can see that our previously locked DLSS option is now available in PAL World settings, which when we choose performance and have our settings to their lowest, then we are able to run the game at a much higher frame rate than before. What we have done with our DLSS unlock in combination with the mod installation is spoof an Nvidia graphics card onto the Steam Deck and push FSR3 frame generation into its place instead effectively tricking the game into thinking we are using DLSS when in fact we are using FSR3. If you enjoyed this tutorial then please give me a like and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials, gameplay performance videos and demonstrations. I'd like to give a big shout out to LukeFZ, the creator of the FSR3 frame generation mod as none of this would be possible without their hard work. So thank you all for watching and if you have any questions please drop them in the comments below as I would love to hear from you if the mod worked and what your experience has been like overall. Until next time have a wonderful day and I will see you later.